maybe laws need to change. Jan Geigler is hiding something. And by something, I mean her salary information. We are not required by law to blah, blah, blah. Well, she could have just sent the salary. She could have just sent what she knows that she makes as her salary. Mm -mm, no, she wants to be deliberately obtuse. She wants to obfuscate and she has to help everybody in the city of Danbury. That crazy lawyer who has no damn sense. This woman, Aleda Martinez, she's probably just following orders, but I'm sorry, you're gonna have to get put in the scope too. Hello, everybody. How are you doing on this fine? Whatever the day of the week it is, where you are, when you are. So today I wanted to update y'all a little bit on the Danbury situation. I do have a lot more videos to make about Danbury, about the Career Academy, about all my public records requests so far. But one of y'all actually recently sent your own public records request. I'm not going to say the person's name, but this person did their own public record request to the city of Danbury, specifically asking about Jan Geigler's salary. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. It could be Geigler, Geigler. I really don't know. I'm gonna go with Geigler. But they asked specifically about her salary. Now, before we get into how that conversation and wild goose chase is going for that person, I do want to just show you all this website called govsalaries.com. Now, I cannot attest to whether or not this is a legitimate website, if the information is accurate or anything like that. But there is a website which purports to tell people how much government officials make. So... This is it. And I already typed in Jan's name and it says city of Danbury key data. This is from 2020. So this was three years ago at this point, And it's not telling her job title. The employer is the city of Danbury and it purports that she makes $68,887 a year in 2020. Now, as I just mentioned, I have no idea if this information is accurate. Also, it's clearly not up to date because the latest date that it has is 2020. So what's the best way to find out what the taxpayers of Danbury are paying Janice Geigler for her salary? It's to make a public records request. And someone, one of y'all, one of my subscribers did just that. And I'm going to read to y'all the emails of how that wild goose chase is going for that person. It says, hey, BJ. I was inspired by your last video and I have sent my first ever FOIA request, which happened to be directly to Janice herself. Let's see if she will respond to it. Hopefully it will go through. So I have the picture here. Um, I will include some of it with information redacted. And it says, hello, I would like to request the yearly salary of Janice Geigler for the years 2021 2022 and 2023. If you do not have 2023 on file, 2021 and 2022 will suffice. Additionally, if you have an official FOIA request form, please send it and I will fill it out. Thank you. So I'm like, yes, congratulations. First FOIA. I'm also curious what Janice's salary is now that you mention it. And to think all they had to do was not violate Sean's rights. A shame. So he goes, I'll keep you updated. She has not responded yet. So his original request was on March 1st. And today, sitting here today, it's March 17th. So by now, it's reasonable that he should have been able to get an answer to this FOIA request, you would think, right? Oh, uh, hmm, let's see how it twists and turns. So on March 3rd, two days after he sent it, he sends me another email. I will keep you updated. She has not yet responded or acknowledged my email. I will allow the few days that she has. So sad that they had to do this to him but not acknowledge their wrongdoing. It is clear that they have been used to getting away with things that quote career center is a joke for a long time. Okay. So then on March 9th, over a week after he submitted the request, Janice finally responds. And she says, please be advised. The town clerk's office is not the repository of records for the information that you are requesting. You will need to direct your request to the appropriate city department. Does this sound familiar? Remember when I asked her how much the city of Danbury paid for that Career Academy building and land and she sent me a deed that said $10 and then she said she's just a library and she's not legally required to forward my request to the right department. She also wouldn't give me the damn department that I should contact. Remember all that? 
I made a video about it. Y'all can go watch. She basically said the same thing to this person. She said, you will need to direct your request to the appropriate city department. The Connecticut Freedom of Information Act does not require, basically, that I distribute your FOIA request to anybody. So basically, I don't have to do it under the law, so I'm not. Also, this dumb knows how much money she makes every year. She's just refusing to give the information. So then the person says, I just called HR, Human Resources for the city of Danbury, and they gave me their personal email to send this request. I said, at this rate, I'm just wondering what records the town clerk does keep in the damn department. Janice is so useless. Stand by that. All right. So then I get another email just yesterday, and it says, Janice salary, the plot thickens. And it says, hi, after Janice refused to help me, I found HR who told me to send an email to receive Janice's salary. They wrote back and are giving me the runaround. Maybe I did not use the appropriate law terms, but surely they cannot withhold this information. Maybe you need to make it a point to request it as well. Please see the following correspondence with a person named Aleda Martinez from HR, attaching two screen caps for you. So the first one says, thank you for speaking with me on the phone regarding requesting information under FOIA. I would like to request the yearly salary of Janice R. Geigler for the years 21, 22, and 23, if you don't have 23. So the same request. Um, so no response. And then they go, okay, hello, we were approaching the fourth business day allotted by the FOIA laws under Connecticut. Please kindly provide me the requested information. Then this person responds and goes, Please send us a release of information signed by Janice R. Geigel. So spelled the name wrong. A release of information. This ain't legal advice. I really don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure that the town clerk's salary is not private information. The salary comes from the taxpayers. People are supposed to be able to know how much they're paying their public officials. And now Aleda Martinez is saying, send us a release of information. Well, you know, Jan ain't going to sign that shit. HR assistant, city of Danbury. So let's see what the next email said. Okay, so then they go to Janice and tell to Janice. So they did ask Janice also, it seems, what department is the correct department for the records I'm requesting? And she didn't answer, which doesn't surprise me because she never answered me either. And I do have an update on that because I finally got an email back from that town lawyer. And I'm gonna be letting y'all know exactly what she said as well. It was completely unsatisfactory and unprofessional. So Janice never responded to that email. So what department is the correct department? She didn't even refuse. She didn't even say, I'm not required by law, blah, blah. But she didn't even say that. She said nothing. And then the person responds again, double emails, right? Please send me a release of information signed by you. The HR department that I had to find with no help of yourself requested that I receive this from you. Please send this to me or I'll have no choice but to escalate this matter further. I don't know what the escalate this matter further is about. Maybe it's like reporting them somewhere or filing charges against them. And then the person sent me another email. And this is the last one in the goose chase so far. And they said, I called Danbury HR today and I was met with the following questions and I'm providing my answers to you as well. She also started to get hostile with me. This is Aleda Martinez, the assistant HR director or whatever. She said, why do you need this information? And the person said, for my use. And then the HR lady said, are you related to her? The person said, no, why does that matter? Then she goes, where are you calling from? You're not supposed to have to give any personal information to access public records like that. The person said, that doesn't matter. Then Aleda said, what's your name? The person provided a name. What is your phone number so I can call you back? This sounds just like that deranged, depraved lunatic at the Bay County Vet Center. You are the person that I'm complaining about, so I'm not going to give you the complaints about you. I need to complain to your supervisor so they can correct you. Uh, I haven't done anything, but you know what? Maybe, um, maybe you can call back later. Give me your name and number. You give me your name and number in case you might want to call back later. No, you're not getting my personal information for a public record. But they did. They provided a number to the person. And then they were like, we'll see what happens from there. And then I responded, they are insane. I'm going to make a video about this. 
Thank you for the update. The people need to know about this. And Dan Barry officials need to know they need to stop hiding things. They make me so mad, OMG. Okay, so I think what I will do today is maybe send a FOIA request or two also requesting Jan Geigler's salary just to let them know that this isn't going to just go away because they're ignoring it. And I would actually encourage anyone watching this video to request that information as well. Maybe I'll request it from different departments. I really don't know. But I'm getting sick and tired of Dan Barry using the same tired, worn out. We are not required to disseminate requests to other departments. Yeah, you might not be required under the law, but maybe laws need to change. Maybe laws need to change. Jan Geigler is hiding something. And by something, I mean her salary information. We are not required by law to blah, blah, blah. Well, she could have just sent the salary. She could have just sent what she knows that she makes as her salary. Mm -mm, no, she wants to be deliberately obtuse. She wants to obfuscate. And she has the help of everybody in the city of Danbury. That crazy lawyer who has no damn sense. This woman, Aleda Martinez, she's probably just following orders. But I'm sorry, you're going to have to get put in the scope too. Because it's absolutely unacceptable. Let me look up city of Danbury HR. I just, it just doesn't seem to me like you should be able to keep it hidden from the public what the woman's salary is because the people are paying her salary. The people vote for that position. I really think they're supposed to be sharing the salary information. So I'm going to do a little bit of research on whether or not they actually like it's black letter law that they have to share it. And if not, I mean, I don't know, maybe we need to change some laws or something like that. But it's very obvious to me that they are hiding something. It's very obvious to me that they are literally allergic to transparency in Danbury and is something that just rubs me the wrong way and I'm not going to let them get away with it. <laughs> they do that day. Hello, everybody. I am back for a little bit of an update. Now, I did just record a couple more videos. I'm trying to get some stuff batch filmed so y'all have something to watch when I go out of town. But I did just now have a chance to make my own public records request under the Connecticut FOI Act or FOIA statute. I emailed the head of HR, who is Virginia Alasco Werner. And I said, please find the enclosed public records request. And then I did attach to it this. And it just says, Dear Miss Alasco Werner, this letter serves as a formal public records request for the disclosure of town clerk Janice R. Geigler's salary information for the years 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Please provide me with one, her base salary, and two, any bonuses or payments additional to her salary. Thank you for your attention to this matter. And I did send this to the head of the department. Let me show y'all. So when you go to the Danbury Human Resources page, this is what you will be met with. And as you can see under the Contact Us tab, it is Virginia Alasco Werner, the director. Now, the person who the other subscriber was corresponding with was someone named Aleda Martinez. I don't see her information listed here. So I'm wondering if this email will eventually be forwarded to her. I'm really not sure. But I wanted to give y'all this update right here at the end of the video to let you know that this is the most current information that I have at the time of recording. And I will keep y'all updated. Back saying defamation. Love you. Mean okay. Bye.